Well, this is kind of the the whole arsenal for being on the moto for me. And I'll kind of go through this. I'll get it all out of the car. Okay. Can't leave the pink helmet. <laughs> oh my God. So usually just take the 300 in the back. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of the way. It's not you. It's him. <laughs> see, this is the, the chaos, the traveling yes. circus. That's what we want to see. Let's go. Yeah, chest fest. I'll explain everything over here. I usually try to get a little assistance so I don't fall over. Do you mind just handing me those, the jacket and the pants? <laughs> yeah, they're super heavy duty. Motorcycle, jacket, and pants. Thank you. Thank you. Just in case you go down, which can happen. It's apparently not if, it's when. I know something about that. Yes, so it's good to be prepared. Excuse me. All right, so what we're gonna do is I like to, once I get here with the team, go find my moto driver and get organized and then I'll come back to the best and shoot. So as you can see, I always take two bodies with the 70 to 200, and this is borrowed because mine was broken, like a slinky. 70 to 200 on my Mark III, 16 to 35, on that body, if you can see it, 300, where is it? Somewhere on there is for the finish, really. Just the finish. I wear the chest vest. Hey, 2870, fisheye, extender, flash battery pack. What else? Um, usually a bar. Hey, good to see you. Good. <laughs> He's from Pittsburgh. He knows my grandpa, isn't that funny? My grandpa was his doctor, so random. You meet all kinds of people all over the world and you're somehow inter intertwined, you know? No six degrees of separation, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna go, let's go find my moto and so we can get organized. And I'm bringing rain gear just in case. I always, it's not, it's good to be prepared. Although I don't really like shooting with the, oh, okay. And it's good to watch where you're going, <laughs> sorry. The, the response here has been just awesome. The fans, the support with the race. Everything's so exciting. Like this. Nike did this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a good picture. Yeah. Thank you. That's one of my favorite shots. That's actually from a um, the first training ride back when I when Lance called and said he was coming back. Pretty surprised. I was only back from the Olympics for two days, thinking things were going to slow down. They just went right into overdrive. And so, hey, I heard you were here. How are you? How's your lens? Good, Mwah. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Let's catch up. Right. Where are you going to be today? Uh, just on a moto. Okay. This is my friend here, Doug. Hi. Oh, sorry. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Uh, yeah, we'll have to chat. <laughs> That's Mike Powell. He's a great photographer. He was at the Olympics, too. Nice. Super nice guy. Yeah, great photographer. Um, yeah, that was from the first training ride back. and. Got some really cool shots. It was a six hour ride and I could do a lot of different stuff, wide, tight, shoot a lot of fun stuff. So I have a reputation of shooting a lot of photos. I just like to shoot a lot. I mean, different, I shoot wide, tight, um, and why not? I mean, I, of course, I'm a little selective, but um, I shoot raw now. And only time I don't shoot raw is when I'm needing a burst and my buffer is filling. I'll switch to JPEG, large JPEG real quick, but, um, for the most part, I'm shooting raw. So editing, I have to convert the raws to JPEG because I like to edit in JPEG. And then I just have the raws for backup. So I, I, I shoot at least a couple thousand photos a day. I was looking for that actually because it was the first comeback um, training ride, like I said. And I was looking for that, that either joker look, like I'm coming back, or a shot of um, just intense, to show people how serious he was. Because when I first saw him, when I came back from the Olympics, I mean, he was fit. He had been training, he had done Leadville. I hadn't seen him for a few weeks. So um, I knew he was, well, I knew he was serious anyway. And he was so excited about it too, that um, I was looking for that type of shot. So I was in the back of the, the pickup truck shooting with my 300, you know, on the dirt roads in Texas and trying to get it in focus as I'm shooting really tight on this face and it was it was tough but just a little fast shutter speed and 
<laughs> practice. And there was only one like that, too. And that's why I do shoot a lot, because the next frame right after that, he was looking a little away, or it was just different. It wasn't the same. So, yeah. This is my moto driver, Jimmy. He's been great. And he's an amateur photographer. Yes, for sure. And so, but this is important. I had never worn uh, moto, proper moto gear. See? I'd never worn this before. And, sorry? Oh, Elizabeth Kreutz. K R E U T C. I got it. Yeah, you're welcome. Where's our bike? Oh, as you can see, there are a few bikes. And um, I had never worn professional moto gear before, and with the weather what it was, my driver that I had at the training camp in Santa Rosa said, you know, you really should have proper moto gear because it's not if, it's when. And so I borrowed his wife's gear, as you can see. Okay, do you see what I'm, I'm dealing with here? <laughs> um, and had it on, and it's just smart to wear it. It's a little hotter. It's a little warmer today, so. But right now what I like to do is just get organized, get packed up because then I can go shoot and not worry about having to do all this right before we leave. You know what? I got smacked in the face. I was doing a little video at the Tour de France one year and I got smacked, as I'm doing the video, smacked in the face with a bug and it hurt. I almost lost my glasses. But for the most part, no, the gear is so rough and, and tough that and I'm pretty hard on my gear. And even when I went down the other day, the bodies are fine. The lenses crack, but um, the bodies are good. And I don't, I don't even have a filter on this one. Usually I do shoot with filters just to make sure. But um, yeah, so we get all ready here. And today is going to be a short but tough stage. There's a big climb. So what we'll usually do is stay out front and cycle back with the photographers to get the shots from the front. You just flew it on this. Yes. <laughs> Spit. <laughs> Go ahead. I got the chamois if you want to apply the... Uh... Yeah, you see my knife. That's from the day. As you can see, I've cleaned it. It should be okay. I don't mind putting some of my spit in there. <laughs> Cannon's real happy about that. But I've had this lens since 2001. It's my favorite lens. That and the 16 to 35 are my favorite lenses. The equipment that I use, the Canon equipment, I use all Mark III's, Mark III 1DS, and um, different lenses, all 2.8 and wider. But um, they've been great. Yeah, and that's tricky. Well, because when you change the lens, you don't want something flying in to get on your sensor. So I, I usually try to hide behind Jimmy and get everything set. And you don't want to drop anything. That's the other thing is my fear is dropping a lens into the Peloton. That would not be bueno. So you just have to be careful and pay attention. My card wallet is secured into my chest vest. No, I've had this for a while, although I'm... I need to get one with better Livestrong stickers. This looks kind of ghetto. <laughs> Fred from Nike put that on. But um, I went to Harley Davidson. They had all black and one pink, so why not? <laughs> I already stick out anyway. I'm going to leave these because it's warm right now, and I don't want to put this on yet. Do the pants now. Do the pants now? Yeah, because they take longer. If you, if you have to run down here, you can at least run down and throw the jacket on. All right. You're the boss. And these moto boots are not moto boots. We can see, look at this. They're already falling apart. <laughs> they're cute though, but they're gonna need to be resold after this week. <laughs> All right. Bounce a quarter off that baby. Okay. Oh my gosh. Production, huh? And then I'll I'll wear the jacket. Can we take the fleece out of it? I can if you want. Do you mind? No. That'd be great. I was gonna ask you 